will set with the director general, director, managers, and forces. President Kema Oja Lunalua, President Abu Khan, President Ali Fad, President Fabu Waka Jala from the Sister Republic of Senegal, my fellow president, my fellow president, my fellow president Mohamed Kante, my vice, my first and second vice president, Madam Marina Kamara and Ellen Baldesau, exhibitors, farmers, Alcalo and Imam of Abuko, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, with all protocol duly and respectfully observed. Mr. Chairperson, I'm pleased to extend to you a warm greetings on this occasion of the first ever Gambia Professional Ram Show called Gampras 2021 First Edition. I am honored and privileged to be here with you today and express my happiness for this innovative and inspiring Ram Show organized by Gamsi Breeders Association and Professional Breeders Association under the leadership of Nalua. I would like to thank the Uni Global and Small Ruminant Enhancement Project for sponsoring this Ram Show and all the people who contributed immensely towards the realization of this day. We are happy to be associated with the government of the Gambia under the leadership of His Excellency President Adam Abaro and very much pleased of the presence of our cousin brothers and sisters from the Sister Republic of Senegal. I welcome you all. I thank the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports, Honorable Bakari Baji, the Minister of Trade, and I thank the government of the Gambia through the Department of Livestock and Gilmer. I thank Dr. Abdul Sise, Department of Livestock, Dr. Usman Sise, Deputy Director of Livestock, and Dr. Demba Jalo of Gilma, and all their staffs. I thank President Ibrahim Ojalo of Nalua, President Mohamed Kante of Professional Breeders, and all the Gampras executives. I thank President Abu Khan of Fenafo and Adam. I thank Ahmad Khan. I thank the PS Asan Jalo and former PSC Saho for believing in us. Special thanks to go to the Honorable Minister of Ami Fabure for acknowledging the potential in small ruminant and her determination to transform, to transform, transform it into a vibrant livestock sector. We, the breeders, are proud of you. For the first time in the history of the Gambia, a city minister closed her office and went out to visit small ruminant farms. We acknowledge that and is well appreciated. His Excellency the President, we, the breeders, are informing you that in Honorable Ami Fable, you have given us the best minister. May Allah guide and protect her. Amen. The potential of great in livestock farming, especially small ruminant. These sheep and goats require small space compared to cattle. About 95% of the sheep we eat in the Gambia is from Senegal, Mali, and Mauritania. It breaks my heart to see the amount of wealth we ship to these countries, enhancing their economies, creating jobs for their citizens while damaging our economy and depriving our citizens the much needed jobs, especially our youths and women. These and other reasons prompted us to invest in sheep breeding. In the Gambia, the most common breeds are the Tulabi, Purple, and the Jalunke, commonly known as the citizen. It takes these breeds one and a half years to two years to give you 25 to 30 kilos. We, the breeders, have bred and crossbred to enhance these breeds by crossbreeding them with the Laden breed. The Laden breed, which we are exposing today, is the fastest growing sheep in West Africa and probably the tallest in the world. This sheep was engineered in Senegal in the 70s by people like Bab Mansour Moj and perfected in the 90s by people like President Abu Khan, our chief guest of honor from Senegal, who is among the, uh, the guests with us here today. For those of you who does not know uh, Mr. President Abu Khan, he is a man who invests most of his life, his money, his time, 
to engineer a ship that we are proud today to call the Lagoon Breed. He is the one who stood and said that if Gambia have to do something like that in the Gambia, he will make sure that we have the most, the most perfect and the best of whatever we are going to do. He is my brother, my mentor. I look up to him. Mr. Abu Khan, before I even know him, I used to follow him up in YouTube, his messages on audios, and he inspired me to start what I'm doing today. And he inspired most of us. Mr. Abu Khan cannot be forgotten when we talk about sheep breeding in this world, and we are proud of him. Thank you, Mr. President. Most of the champions we are celebrating today are of his products. We are happy to acknowledge the presence of Musa Yada. We acknowledge the presence of Pearl Dauda, who played a crucial role in the development of the Ladon breed. We are very pleased also to acknowledge the presence of Papi J and President Harding Fall, who are the proud owner of the current champion named Jackpot in, Jackpot in Senegal. Inshallah. We will be having a Gambian champion tomorrow, so you are all invited to witness it. This is a history-making session. Gradually, our farms are employing more young people, also guiding potential farmers to establish their farms. We think this success needs to be shared. This is what you are witnessing in the grand style today has never been seen before. I'm grateful, I'm grateful to all of you here. The Minister of Agriculture and Livestock under the leadership of Honorable Ami Fable is doing a tremendous job with the limited resources they have. We still think there is room for improvement. We ask the government of the Gambia to consider giving the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock the 10% they are committed to as currently. I stand to be corrected, to, uh, we are giving about 3% of GDP, including the projects. We, the breeders, would like to see more vets trained and will appreciate if the President of the Gambia, His Excellency President Ahmad Adama Barrow, will give an executive order to have all livestock dietary vehicles confiscated to be returned and put a stop to this practice which started since the time of Baba Jawara. May Allah forgive his sins and grant him Janatul Fildausa. Amen. These vehicles are used as ambulance for our animals. Ladies and gentlemen, I finally wish to express my sincere appreciation to the Senegalese delegation led by President Abu Khan for, this relented, for his relented support and guidance. Once again, on behalf of the Gampras, I thank you all and invite you to take a tour of the show to come back in the evening to witness more competition. Thanks and have a wonderful Ram show. Thank you.